Third time lucky. Right, I have now split the casings again and uh, cleaned up all the surfaces, ready again for the new paste stuff to go back on. Um, if you look down there, you can now see a little cog turning round. Another cog, which I had forgotten to put in before. Um, I think what had happened is that uh, I had got this shaft and rather than leave it lying about, I decided to just slot it in there without realising that I'd forgotten that little cog below my finger there. So I put the shaft in there because I didn't want to get it damaged anywhere and I thought that was the safest place for it. But unfortunately I made a mistake. So this is the other casing. I've cleaned that up as well and I've left me mole grips on so that you can see where the snapped bolt was. There, look, I'm just taking it off now. It's coming out quite easy, that actually. And I just got all to the top and it just started turning. So there it is. The other half of the bolt. Out of there. So no damage done. What I will do now is I'm going to get all these old bolts and I'm going to clean them all up and then put it back together. So Hey ho, here we go again. Afternoon, <clears throat> guys. Um, right, I've started putting the engine back together again. Uh, this time, what I've done is I've had all the nuts and bolts, the bolts, sorry, in um, that cheap Sonic cleaner thing that I got from Alda. 20 quid or something. So the starter motor cog is now in and I think it's down there somewhere so you'll see that in a minute. Um, I've just put the bolts in the bottom half of the crankcase. I haven't torqued them down yet and then uh, I'm going to flip it over in a minute and then put the top half in. So like I say all the bolts have had a, a nice and then that washer's just come off that. A nice clean. Um, all the mating surfaces were all cleaned off. New rubber sealant stuff put on. So these are the bolts now, all nice and clean. Just put some other stuff in there as well and clean that. So, once I've talked this down, I shall turn it over and then um, carry on. All now talked up <coughs> uh, and back in the engine stand, I've made a bit of a balls up by touching that. That looks a right mess because it's still a bit wet, but I couldn't help it. Again, this engine's heavy, just like this. Um, but now you will notice one cog and also one fixed bolt, all nice and tight. So now what I need to do is start putting all this stuff back on, this plate, bolts in there, in there, stuff like that.
um, clutch, everything. Again, that bloody red stuff is oozing out, and I've fucking touched it, which is a bit annoying. But never mind. Right, so I'm back to where I was <coughs> yesterday, but this time everything is hopefully correct. Okay.